Welcome to another new construction home tour. My name is Rasson Theus, your Los Angeles Redfin Premier Real Estate Broker. And I'd like to offer you my services to hold your hand and to guide you through the entire home selling or home buying process. Now this channel has been dedicated to folks just like you to help you learn everything you need to know about living here in the city of LA. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that every week when I'm releasing new videos, you will be notified. Now today I am here in the awesome city of Santa Clarita, California. Now Santa Clarita is a suburb of Los Angeles. It's about 45 miles from downtown LA and it's an amazing place to raise a family. There's all kinds of activities here, parks, golf courses, amazing places, restaurants, just a great community. And guess what? They have amazing schools for the kids. Now today we are here at a brand new community. There's gonna be two major developers that are gonna be building a total of 850 new homes right here where I'm standing. And it's gonna be really exciting. These homes are gonna be absolutely stunning. Now today we're gonna to be looking at the homes being built by the developer Lennar. Lennar is an amazing home developer. They've been in the game for a long time. And the other developer that's gonna be building the other homes is gonna to be Toll Brothers. They haven't built those models yet. So as soon as they build them, I'll come back out and I'll show you guys what those homes are gonna look like as well. Now, of course, there's gonna be several different neighborhoods throughout this new community. Some of the neighborhoods are gonna be senior living, 55 plus communities, and the rest are gonna be all single family homes. Now today, we're gonna to be focusing on the neighborhood called Campana, and we'll be looking at their residence number three. Now here in the Campana neighborhood, there's gonna be six different styles of homes that they could build for you, and they've modeled three of them. I'm gonna shoot all three models and I'll be making three different videos so you can get into the details of each model that they created here. Today, we're gonna to be looking at their residency number three. Now, residency number three consists of five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. This home has 3,920 square feet of living space and it has a starting price of $1.5 million. Now this home is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to show it to you. And if you're interested in getting your name on the waiting list so you can pick up one of these, I highly recommend that you schedule a consultation with me. We'll hop on that Zoom call and we'll discuss your unique situation and I'll help you come up with a game plan so you can make a house just like this your reality. I would also like to tell you about the benefits that come along with using me as your agent and how Redfin will literally refund you $3,750 at the close of escrow on this home just for using me as your realtor and allowing me to guide you and hold your hand through the entire new home building process. So if you'd like to learn more about that, all my contact information is below in the description or you can feel free to scan the QR code that I have right over here. All right, guys, I cannot wait to show you guys this home. Let's go check this one out. All right, guys, so as we always do, we're gonna start our tour on the exterior of the property. Now, of course, the exterior on this one here is a stucco home. We see a lot of stucco homes because that's what's most popular here in Southern California. What I wanna point out is you got your nice two-car garage right here and you have a front-facing balcony, which is awesome. Now, if you look over here, you're like, what's this part of the home? Well, guess what? This home, I didn't mention it in my introduction, but it does have what they call a multi-generational suite, which is really awesome. I'm gonna show it to you guys in a moment as soon as we walk in the house. Basically, it's kind of like an ADU, an accessory dwelling unit, but it's just a little private residence that you could either rent out or you could have one of your home guests stay in and they have their own entrance, they have their own living room, their own bathroom, their own bedroom. So it's pretty awesome. If you want it, you can rent it out to help pay for the mortgage. Or like I said, just put a family member in there that wants to be a little bit separate from the rest of the family. Now, I love this front yard here. They have a large front yard. They have nice little games out here. You can see what the house looks like from here. And then you see this little pathway here that's gonna go around and go to the private entry of the multi-generational unit here. I'll show it to you right here. So that's gonna be the private suite entrance right here. All right, let's head back around so I can show you guys the rest of this awesome house. I also like how you get the front porch here. Some people like to hang out on the front porch, drink coffee, wave to your neighbors, pretty cool. Now, as we come in here, 
we open the door, we have this really nice, beautiful wide hallway here. Now, as we go over to our right, we have what could be converted into a bedroom if you wanna configure it that way. They have it as an office with the little farm door right here so you can close that off. It's kind of not even so much an office, more of like a little art studio is how they have it staged. But obviously you can make it an office, an art studio. It could be a little play area for the kids, a little place where all the kids play with their toys and all that good stuff. Now, as we come out of here, we're gonna go across the hallway here and this is gonna be the entrance to the multi-generational suite. Now, you can have this locked off so that people really can't access it from the side. As we walk in, we're stepping into the living room of the little suite here, which is pretty cool. Nice little living room here. This would be the door that I showed you outside, the private entryway. And then you can see you have a nice little living room, little, little tiny dining room section here. And then it has a little refrigerator. You can obviously add a microwave, it has cabinetry for food and things like that, which is pretty cool. Now, as we step down this hallway here, that's gonna take us into the little one bedroom here. So a nice little one bedroom. It's really nice, lots of natural light comes in here. As we come around this way, we have a nice closet, little walk-in closet here. So pretty spacious, it's pretty, Pretty spacious, like I said. Definitely something that if you want it, you can either rent out this space or you can have one of your guests stay here. Now this is gonna be the bathroom right here for this multi-generational suite. So it does come with a shower, comes with a vanity and all that good stuff. And then over here, we have your in-unit washer and dryer. So this is gonna be separate from the rest of the home. Cause like I said, if you're renting it out then they wanna have their own washer and dryer. Um, unit and plus the washer and dryer in this home is upstairs and if this is going to be for a family member that can't do the stairs and that's why you want to have your own private washer and dryer all right so this is pretty awesome that they're offering this on this particular home now as we come over here i wanted to step back in here and show you that there is a under the stairs closet here a little harry potter closet it actually goes all the way it's pretty deep all the way around so you get plenty of storage here always great to have that in your home all right now we're going to come out this way you can see the hallway walls here i like how they have the little wall decor here they did a great job with that great place for you to store and look at all your artwork that you have now as you come over here we have the stairway i can't wait to show you guys upstairs and what that's going to look like and then as we come this direction we have the kitchen now this is a beautiful kitchen. They did a great job on this kitchen here. And one of the things I like about this developer is that it actually comes with what you see. The only thing the house is not gonna come with is gonna be the washer and dryer upstairs, but all these appliances are included in this home. So we have our dishwasher right here. You also get plenty of natural light coming in from the backyard. Now look, check out this oversized island they have here. And what I like is that you can seat people all the way around this island, which is pretty cool. You got the storage space here, nice refrigerator. You got the dual ovens here. And then they got the monograph of, um, appliances here as far as your cooktop and your vent go. So that's pretty awesome. You even get some storage space down here. Now, as we come over here, we have our pantry. All right. Now, as we step out the kitchen, we do have this nice open floor plan. It's gonna lead directly into the formal dining area, which is pretty awesome. Looks great. And then that's gonna lead right into your very spacious living room here. I love the way they staged this. It looks fantastic. Very bright colors, makes the whole space look very roomy. I love the little fan they have up there as well too. So here we are from this direction. You can see what your living room, dining and kitchen area are gonna look like. And then what I love also, as we turn around this way, is you see you have this nice sliding three-piece door that comes all the way across. 
which gives you that nice California indoor outdoor living that we love to have out here in California. So you totally get that with this house. And then another bonus feature is that you do have a covered patio here. So you don't have to be out in the sun if you don't want to. It does get pretty hot out here in the summertime here in Santa Clarita. So it's great to have this nice covered patio so you don't have to necessarily be directly in the sun. Now, as we come out here, they did an amazing job putting together this backyard and the way they staged it. Now, your backyard won't come like this. Now, if you want your backyard to look like this or however you want your backyard to look, you will be able to bring in your own landscaping contractor once you close escrow in this house and then you can have them design this backyard however you like it. I think they did a good job with this particular configuration. They got the nice bar here, the double-sided bar so you can entertain out here, right? And then you have your barbecue grill right here. So these are all things that you can just hire a private contractor to come in and build for you. I would like to show you, if you look down the hill here, you'll see um, what the backyards look like for people who've moved in. They're just dirt yards. So like I said, you would come in and do your own landscaping. While we're here, I also wanna point out this amazing view that you have here. It overlooks the whole Santa Clarita Valley. It's really awe-inspiring, I love it. Beautiful views, mountain views, looks great. You have a very beautiful day today. A nice little fire pit over here as well too. So yeah, pretty awesome, I love this. I like how they put this together, giving you some great ideas for what you can actually do with this backyard space. And then this is what the back of the home is gonna look like right here. All right, let's show you guys the rest of this beautiful home. Now, as we come back down the hallway here, I wanna show you guys, there's a nice powder room right here. Now, of course, there's no door here because this is the model home, but when the home is finished, they'll put a door here. But this is the bathroom that most of your guests are gonna be using when you're entertaining guests and things like that. Just a nice little powder room. All right, and then we have our beautiful staircase here. I love this. Let's go upstairs and check it out. All right, so as soon as we come up the stairs here, we're here on the loft. And I like what they did with this loft. They actually put a pool table here. A lot of times they'll put a couch here, make it like a little family entertainment area. But I like that they got the pool table with the TV on top. Perfect place for watching the game. Now, as we come around here, we're gonna go outside. And you have this nice little front facing balcony, which I showed you guys in when we first started the tour here, overlooking your front yard. You can see as we're looking out this balcony, all of this is gonna be built on. You can see some of the homes they're building right up there. So like I said, 850 new homes are coming. It's pretty cool. I like how you, you put, they stage it with the little seating out here. It's giving you some ideas. Great place to just kind of hang out and chill, read a book, listen to some music. Now, as we come this way, we're gonna look at our laundry room here. Nice size laundry room. Like I said, the washer and dryers don't come with the house, so you'll be providing your own washer and dryers. But everything else you see is pretty much included. It's pretty awesome. They, they give you quite a bit at Lennar. Now, as we come out, we're gonna go to our right and go into a bedroom that we have here. I like how they have this decorated as well too. But nice size bedroom. This is a full size bed that you see in here. Just so you have an idea of the scale of this room and how big it is. It's a medium size room. I like how they painted the walls. It looks really nice in here. And then you have a really nice little walk-in closet right here as well too. So very spacious, perfect for a teenager. And then I'm gonna go around and show you the other bedroom, but there's a nice Jack and Jill bathroom. So. You can walk out this room, go into the bathroom, and then it gives you access to the other room here. But let's go around so you can see how that comes together. Come around here, go to our right. Now we're in this bedroom. This bedroom seems a little bit bigger to me, a little bit longer. Don't have the big closet though. So you have a nice closet in here, a nice little sliding closet door. This is a queen size bed, okay. And as you can see, you still have enough space to put some furniture next to it. So 
nice room. And then this is going to be the bathroom that services these two rooms and pretty much that little um, loft area that you see there. And you do have a separate water closet in this bathroom. And that's going to be where your bathtub is stored as well too. So you get some privacy. Since so many people will be sharing this bathroom, you got the loft share in the bathroom, you got two bedrooms. I think it's great that they added it so that there'll be a door right here. So you can have your privacy for a shower and for the toilet. And then, you know, someone needs to access this part of the bathroom. They're not necessarily taken away from your privacy. All right, let's keep going. And I just generally like the way they designed this whole little upstairs landing section. It looks really cool. You have that nice little chandelier right there. It's pretty cool. All right, now as we come this way, this is going to be another bedroom right here. They have this stage as their nursery. I love this light fixture here, it's pretty cool. I know it has nothing to do with the house, but it looks really cool. Nice ideas for you to design your place. A little baby crib here, and they have lots of space in here and then this room does have its own ensuite bathroom the vanity and a really large closet this is fantastic I love it so this is a really nice room here you got the nice big old walk-in closet here you get a shower ensuite bathroom and honestly a pretty nice size room here so that's pretty cool now, as we come out, we are going to go to our right and that's going to put us inside the primary suite. Before we go in, we do have some storage right here, which I always like when they do that. And then now we are heading into the primary suite. I love this room. Lots of natural light. Really big. That's a California king size bed there. I love the light fixture. Like I said, it has nothing to do with the house, but beautiful design. And then let's check out this closet here. So pretty large walk-in closet, it's pretty big. I feel like it's big enough for two people, it has a whole nother little section over here. This could probably be one person section and then the, all of this will be someone else's section. You tell me below in the comments how you would configure this closet for your family. Now, as we step around here, we're gonna go into our primary bathroom. This bathroom is beautiful. Before we step in, we have some more storage space right here, which is great. And then over here, we have this beautiful deep tub here. We have the dual vanity sinks, which looks fantastic. I love it, it looks great. And then I love this oversized glass shower. Plenty of natural light in here. You got beautiful views while you're taking a bath. I think that's awesome. And then you have this little section over here. What a lot of my clients have been doing is building a vanity right here, especially the ladies. And that way you can have a whole little vanity set up right over there. You have lots of storage space here in your bathroom. And then we have a nice little separate water closet right over there, which of course will have a door and the home that you buy. So there we go. All right, guys, so you have seen this home. This home is absolutely stunning. I love this particular model. And if you're interested and you wanna get your name on the waiting list, I highly recommend you schedule a consultation with me. We'll hop on that Zoom call. We'll discuss your unique situation and I'll help you come up with a game plan so that you can make this house your reality. And I'll also tell you about the benefits that come along with using me as your realtor to hold your hand and to guide you through this whole process. And I'd like to tell you about how Redfin will give you a refund once you close on this home of $3,750 just for using me as your agent. So go ahead, reach out to me. All my contact information is below in the description, or you can feel free to scan the QR code that I have right over there. Now that's all I have for you guys in this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.